Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to walk you through some of the ways that you can use my new Painterly Textures. Let's go ahead and open up some of the texture files, and I just want to say really quick, this is just my own weirdness. This black box keeps bothering me, and so today when I was working on this tutorial, I decided, you know what, I'm going to make one more texture, and here it is, it's painted texture number 12. Now, I actually advertise this as 10 textures, and there's uh, was actually 12 in there anyway because I had a variation. So we're just going to make it a nice even dozen. If you already purchased this product, just write me at help at jessicadrossen.com for that 12th texture that I'm showing right here. So I've copied it and now I'm going to place it on the image. I need to verify that it covers edge to edge, no gaps. And then I can go into one of my blend modes here or I can use these bonus texture integration action. So here I'll select the lowest visibility and basically that's just putting it into soft light mode. Now next we need to add a mask. You can either add a mask by pushing this little box down in the layers palette or you can go to the texture integration actions and say add a mask. It'll verify that you have the right layer selected and then it'll add a mask for you. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit because what I'm concerned with is actually the texture on the faces. I like the tone that this texture is offering, but I'm not sure about the texture itself over the skin. And so I'm going to select my lasso tool and I'm going to make sure that my feather radius is pretty soft. And then I'm going to go ahead and gauge and blur. And I'm just going to eliminate the texture itself by blurring it just over these skin tone areas. I'm just going to make sure that I have a nice soft transition and that's why I have this large feather amount. And now we're going to zoom out a little bit and I'm just going to show you how I transition the texture to the skin tone areas. So I, again I have this wide feather amount and now I'm going to go outside of this area and just with a small amount of blur I'm just going to lower it here a little bit the radius and now I'm going to go I'm going to now I'm just going to lower that radius amount and click OK. Maybe do it again here just to kind of randomize it. And this is just going to give me sort of a softening of that texture as it comes closer to my subjects. And I just do this particularly with natural light outdoor work in order to soften the edges between my skin and uh, the texture. When I'm satisfied, I'm going to put this back into soft light mode. And if I wanted to, I could be done with this image. But I'd like to demonstrate some additional things that you can do with these textures and additional looks you can achieve. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a darker, more dramatic texture. This is texture number 11. And we're going to do the same things to copy it and paste it into our image place it in soft light mode and now you can see this is dramatically darker I have both textures on right now turn the original one off but you can see that it's much darker and more dramatic one of the great things about textures is how versatile they are in addition to changing the blending modes you can flop them you can enlarge them you can do a lot of different things to use your texture in the way that works best for you so I'm going to actually enlarge the texture a little bit so that the vignetting areas, I'm going to move a little bit of them off the page simply because the, the photo sort of gets darker on the edges anyway. So I'm enlarging that texture to show less of the vignette. And now I'm going to show you a technique where you just get rid of all of the texture. So I'm going to crank it up here and I'm putting this across the texture all around and Basically, this is getting rid of so much of the texture, but it's leaving the tones and it's leaving some of the variety that is going to add depth and visual interest. I've added a mask and now I'm just going to go into the areas that I want to remain a little bit brighter as this texture does tend to darken the image out. So by removing what the texture is doing on the faces and on the highlight areas, I'm essentially creating a non-destructive dodge and I'm going to brighten these areas up leaving the rest of the image more dramatic. You can sort of see I'm doing this very softly with a brush that's at about 12 percent opacity. 
Okay, so I think I like the effect. And now I'm just going to show you with both layers on. So these are both of our textures that we added. And then I'm going to play with the opacities. And you can just endlessly work these textures to make them feel right for you. I hope you enjoyed this video um, tutorial on how to use the textures. I have more videos on my site that show me using different textures in other ways. Please feel free to watch them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.